All right, guys, so you have your agency name, you have your domain name. The next thing we want to talk about is branding, specifically our logo. Now, everyone needs to have a logo, whether it be simple, complicated, you need to have a logo and a representation of your business. Now, before we get into logo design, uh, we're trying to create this agency, right? We want to get it up and running so we could start selling our $500,000 packages. Uh, so I don't want you to take too long uh, and get too deep in the weeds trying to pick a logo. Now, a logo is important, right? Because it is your branding. It's going to be on your website. Uh, it's going to be on your business card. It's going to be on your social media pages. Uh, it's basically going to be the icon representing your business. But it's not like if you have a bad logo or a good logo that you're either going to close a client or not close a client, right? Like the, if you have a good name that people are going to remember, right? That's most important. Then the logo comes along with that. So, so the logo is important, but it's not uh, like a game changer. So we don't want to spend a, a ton of time and get, get too much like trying to in the anchor season and, and trying to get it just perfect right now. You could always improve your logo later, but we just want to get our site up and going. Um, so we have to pick one. So there's a couple of choices we can make. You can, we can either go low budget or high budget. It just depends on how much money you have and time you have. Uh, if you're just starting your agency, I would suggest going low budget. Let's spend 40, 50 bucks, get a nice logo. Let's get up and moving. So if, so for that, there's a site called designmantic.com. Just go there and then hit, go to designmantic.com, hit logo design, um, and you're going to come to this page. So it's going to say step one, which is put in your name and your business. So I did Chimera Media. Next, it says select your industry. I'm going to say advertising uh, and media. And you're going to see it gives us some options here. So let's hit create design. And as we go through, you're going to see that it's giving you a lot of different ideas and different designs focused around a media or marketing company. Now, if you change up, you know, what you choose here, let's say I was a cleaning company, um, it should, right? It'll change the type of logos, right, to match a cleaner. So let's go back to advertising and media that's what we kind of want to do and um and here we can go through and look at the different logos now in choosing a logo for me personally i just want to keep it pretty simple i don't want something too complicated and i don't want something too confusing so i probably wouldn't do this boat right it's just a little too confusing it has nothing to do with my marketing company or this glass with a straw, right? I might like something like this globe is pretty nice. It's pretty basic. This design here is um, nice or something like this. Let's see what else they got. Um, you know, if I was doing filming and I was, you know, a photographer, I might choose this, but probably not for my marketing company. I'm more looking at these kind of designs and uh, you know, you could always change the coloring on them as when, once you water them. Uh, this is pretty nice. Chimera Media looks kind of like a phoenix. So what I probably wouldn't do, I probably wouldn't do this. This is like a brain. Like it doesn't have anything to do with my business. I wouldn't do these light bulbs. Uh, but I do. I might do something like this, right, or something like this. Um, the other thing you could do is there's more filters. So you could sort by popularity, new and old. You could put like a name in there monster right like because chimera is like a um so like chimera is like a mystical beast right like and so if i put in you know more filters i put in monster you know maybe if i want to i can choose something like this i don't know so i could keep it safe i can go with something like this or as i go through here i can mix it up a little bit and you know i can go with, this is pretty cool or these are actually pretty nice. It's it shows kind of like a dragon, kind of like a beast, um, sort of. So let's say I wanted to go with here's a couple. Mm, this one's really nice. Um, this one's pretty nice too, right? Just this, this little 
Let's say I want to go with this logo here. So here you could do some custom design a little bit. Well, you can have them do a custom logo for you. I'd imagine if you want the color change or something like that, you'd click here. But you could also add shapes. Uh, you can add a text field. So you could do something like Chimera Media. We dominate the competition or whatever um, subtitle you want to put in here. But I'm just going to keep it like this. Right. You press continue. Right. So here it is. So this is the design. We press continue and then it'll give us some options. So I could order the basic, which inclu includes only the logo, uh, high resolution file, which we want, and the vector file. Right. So we want all of this. Uh, and then the standards includes like business design, which we don't need, um, and matching business. We don't need any of that stuff. But what we do want to make sure is when you order a logo that you are going to want the a high resolution image and you're going to want a vector file because for 37 bucks I can get this logo and if I have a vector file and I want to change the color like say I want to change it from red to blue or change it even a little bit I can go to Fiverr and give someone that vector file and have them change it for five to uh, ten dollars right so then i don't have to have these guys customize it for hundreds of dollars i just simply take it to fiverr and have someone change it for me uh, that's the fastest and easy easiest way for you guys to get a logo a couple of other options is you can go to some place like 99 designs a lot of people use this this is more of a crowdsourcing where you put in like your company and maybe the imagery you want for your logo. And then they send it out to, I think like 30 different designers and they, they kind of bid for your business. They send you back different images you and logos. You pick the one you want. And I think it's like two or 300 bucks. Um, I'm not going to really go. I'm not really not going to go through it. Um, you can go to 99designs and check it out for yourself. To me, I think, especially if you're just getting started, uh, you, there's much cheaper routes than using this. But if you're already established, you know the branding you really want, um, you want a professional to do this, then you know go here to 99designs. Another option you have is you can go to Fiverr. You can just go to Logo Designs, and you could choose someone here. It's still probably for a decent designer going to cost you 40 50 uh, 60 dollars another thing you could do is go to graphicriver.net and you could look up uh, different logo designs there so they have like logo templates right if you want like if there's something specific you wanted you could type in like i have beast in here right so it would show me different kind of graphics that I can order that that kind of go around beasts. I don't know. Let me see if I could do something with. Uh, I don't know if they have marketing. What they have, right? So they have different marketing designs or ideas. You and then you can buy it, buy it from here. So what you do here is you would buy the graphic. You still have to go somewhere like Fiverr and have someone make up a logo for you. That's why I really like. If you guys are just getting started. Design Mantic. It's just a very easy way to get uh, moving. And then two is like what I would do is I'd order probably the logo here. And then if you wanted some adjustments, I would just get it done at Fiverr. But the point is, guys, at this stage in the game, the only thing we want to do is we want to get a logo done today. So if you're watching this video, go right to these sites right now. The links are going to be in the resource area and get your logo picked out. Um, you know, just so we can just get started and we can move on to creating everything else we need to create for our agency so that we can get it up and running and start getting clients and start making some money. All right. Talk to you guys uh, on the next video.